Hey guys, what is going on? It's me, Tommy. I hope everyone's doing good. And today I wanted to talk to you about my favorite pizza place in Florence, Italy. And actually, my favorite pizza that I've ever had. Um, as most of you guys know, I went to Italy on a study abroad for seven weeks this past summer. And during my time there, I was able to have a lot of pizza throughout Italy. And I tried my best to go to all the uh, really popular pizza places in Florence, but I can only do so much. Um, anyways, I found this place online when I was, before I left, and I was searching for best pizza places, and this came up. And it's called Il Pizzaiulo. The address is Via de Machi 113. It's about five minutes away from the cathedral. If you just search on search it on Google Maps, you shouldn't have any problem finding it. Um, that's how I found it. Uh, I just had the name and I searched it and it came up. But anyways, if you do travel to Florence, uh, there's several really, really great pizza places. Uh, I did a good job in going to most, but another name you'll hear a lot is Gusta, and Gusta is really, really great. Um, it's my second favorite pizza place. But in all honesty, I prefer Il Pizzaiulo, and it's a little unknown to the tourists, but it's a really popular spot for Italians. Every time I went there, there was always people speaking in Italian, uh, Italian families going there for dinner to enjoy pizza, because pizza in Italy is viewed more as a delicacy than here in America. I'm not talking it's like a fashion, fashion-y food, but it's not viewed at the same as here where it's more of a junky, uh, trashy type food. So, and in Gusta, there was always uh, a bunch of uh, people trying to go there. And I will admit, I was in a high tourism season, so uh, I'm curious to see how it is during the regular year. But there was so many people that a lot of times, uh, what people did was they ordered takeout and so their pizza was like in a regular like pizza box and then uh, they would just find a place outside to sit down and eat it and once again the pizza is very very good but if you want the full Italian experience of the environment then definitely go to Il Pizzaiulo. Um, I became pretty good friends with the owner and the waiters they always treated me really really kindly and they gave me free water and if you do travel to Europe, you'll realize that water is not free there. And I, I just, I just love that place. Um, I would always get the margarita pizza, and that's your simple uh, dough, tomato sauce, and mozzarella. But they served several types of pizzas, and I believe it was five euros for a margarita pizza. And margarita is cheese pizza. They don't call it cheese pizza there. That they call it margarita. Uh, for those of you who haven't been to Italy. And um, I promise you, if you do go to that uh, pizza place, you will not be um, disappointed. You will be really, really impressed by the amount of food you receive because um, they serve uh, um, fairly big personal uh, pizza pies. Um, I ate a lot and I would always order one and I, I would always be full. And um, I you, you'll leave very, very pleased. Um, I believe, like I said before, I think it's five euros, and uh, that comes out to, I want to say, I think seven dollars in that area, but it's seven dollars for um, how good that pizza is and the quantity you receive, it. and considering how great the quality is, you'll be very, very uh, pleased and impressed by uh, how good Italian pizza is compared to uh, America. It's been kind of tough eating pizza here, I honestly don't really even like pizza now anymore because I was just so used to eating very, very good pizza in Italy. But anyways, um, if you do go to Florence, those two pizza places, I definitely recommend you visiting. They're very, very good. Uh, you can't go wrong going with either. I just, my my favorite is, is Il Pizzaiolo. Um, but anyways, uh, I hope this video helped you guys. And if you haven't, ever been to Italy or or planned to go there, definitely go there. It's an absolutely wonderful country. I loved it and I'm trying to go back. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and have a wonderful day. Keep it real.